Okay, for the second simulation, we're going to show how we could make the simulations progress from one simulation to the next, and so on. To do so, we will open the simulation options window by pressing the simulation options button. Now, this simulation options window has a number of runs tab. We can use the drop down menu to choose up to a thousand simulations running one right after another. The combination of 1,000 simulations with the maximum amount of time per simulation of 30 days allows this application to run the simulation more than 80 years into the future. We will talk about that later um, towards the ends of the simulation sequences, but for now, let's just run two simulations, and we will run them in concatenated times, meaning that the time will keep on progressing into the future as the simulations progress themselves. Optionally, we can choose to run the simulation in the same time window as each simulation progresses, each subsequent simulation pr progresses, and this is just an option to use for um, comparison purposes uh, if we want to compare the same time of day um, as the simulations run, we would use the same time window uh, or the same day and the same time of day. Regardless, we're going to choose successive or concatenated times to run these simulations. We will run the simulation uh, for two days per simulation. <coughs> Notice, as soon as we open the simulation options window, that the simulation number comes up here, and it will keep on increasing um, as the simulations increase themselves. We will run it for 100 orders. No, let's just run it for 50 orders uh, per simulation. Um, and we will run the project uh, for two simulations. Okay, so now see it says the first simulation. It's showing the trucks leaving and coming back. Um, we've only used two trucks so far. Uh, and realize that a truck is going to a region as soon as si a single order is um, generated from a particular region, which is not optimal by any means. For example, um, an order could be generated from region G1, and if we're delivering groceries, and it's a $10 order, then um, it's definitely not profitable. Okay, now look, at, we're going to the second simulation, it is two days from now, uh, at the present time, we started simulation on the 26th of January, it is now 28th of January, so it has progressed two days into the future, and it's running for 50 orders for the second simulation, see it says simulation 2 here, and it is uh, calculating the reports, putting the data in the reports in the background right now, and... Um, as we wait for it to generate the reports, this should not be visible, by the way. Um, in the as when the when this is um, when this application is uh, being used or being used as a service, a web service, that it should not be showing the uh, the tables generating the data. Regardless, for right now, let's go to the report dashboard. Now, what we have here is a composite total of all orders for all regions for all simulations. Now see here, the simulation ran from the 26th to the 30th, so this includes two days per simulation um, for a total of four days. Now we can go to the simulation charts, and this um, this report, or this these charts here, show, again, what we saw on the previous screen, the composite total for the both simulations, and then it shows the orders per individual simulation. Simulation 1 and Simulation 2 per region, and then we can compare these regions. These graphs, these charts are uh, generated on the fly, so if we were to run 283 simulations, that this window would show um, comparatively through bar charts uh, 283 simulations and we could scroll down and look at all those simulations going back to the report dashboard um, 
we will uh, we have already seen the residence report, but what this is showing now is that it shows for the first simulation, the orders generated, not all delivered to, but generated, and it goes down to simulation two there. Um, so it shows the second simulation. Go back to report dashboard, go to the delivery report. We show the simulation one here. And then it shows this is the second run to, right here, the second run to region D2. If we look up here, region D2 had a run. So this counts the number of runs to the respective regions um, per simulation. So we move down and we go to simulation two. Notice that at the end of simulation one, as we move the simulation two, there are no outstanding trucks in the field. Um, okay, we have, as we saw before, the actual round trip times and the profit. What we will look at, we will talk about the profits later here. Um, but for now, let's not dwell on that. So let's just go back to the main map. Look at the main map. This is the end state for the end of the second simulation and we reset the regions to zero so this simulation shows how we can make the simulations progress from the first simulation to the second simulation and onward to as many simulations as we designate thank you very much